Hi everyone! Today we're going to study Hamilton Path and Circuit. Let's define Hamilton Path. A path in a graph G. A path means no repeated edge that passes through every vertex exactly once is called Hamilton Path. Let's define Hamilton circuit. A circuit in a graph G. That means no repeated edge and starts and ends on same vertex that passes through every vertex exactly once is called Hamilton circuit. Example 1. Find a Hamilton path and Hamilton circuit in the graph below. This is our graph. For the Hamilton path, it is from A going to B, C, D, and E. For Hamilton circuit, it starts with A, B, C, D, E, then A. Example 2. Find a Hamilton path and Hamilton circuit in the graph below. This is our graph. For the Hamilton path, we start at A, going to B, C, and D. For Hamilton circuit, there is none. Any circuit containing every vertex must contain the edge AB twice. Example 3. Find a Hamilton path and Hamilton circuit in the graph below, and this is our graph. For the Hamilton path, there is none. For Hamilton circuit, also, there is none. Any path containing all vertices must contain one of the edges AB, CD, and EF more than once. We have here some properties of Hamilton circuit. Number one, a graph with a vertex of degree 1 cannot have a Hamilton circuit. Number 2, if a vertex in the graph has degree 2, then both edges that are incident with this vertex must be part of any Hamilton circuit. Number 3, when a Hamilton circuit is being constructed, and this circuit has passed through a vertex. Then, all remaining edges incident with this vertex, other than the two used in the circuit, can be removed from consideration. Number four, a Hamilton circuit cannot contain a smaller circuit within it. Let's have theorems about Hamilton circuit. First is the Dirac's theorem. If G is a simple graph with n vertices, with n greater or equal to 3, such that the degree of every vertex in G is at least n over 2, then G has a Hamilton circuit. Next is Ors theorem. If G is a simple graph with n vertices, with n greater or equal to 3, such that degree of U plus degree of V is greater than or equal to n. For every pair of non-adjacent vertices U and V in G, then G has a Hamilton circuit. 